Hi, Words of Life. Good afternoon. Welcome to church. If this is your first time joining us in our online service, please do know that you are welcome, you are loved, because Words of Life is your home. Now, before anything else, I just have a quick reminder for each and every one of us. If you are actively engaged with your mobile phones or other devices that you are currently using to view our online service, I am highly encouraging you to put that into silent mode or vibrate so you could focus in our service. And also, it would mean a lot to the ministry if you can share this video sa mga friends ni mo or mga relatives ni mo or by tagging them in the comment section para mas taghan tag reach out na makapaminaw sa pulong sa ginoong. Right? Now, before we start, I know you are also excited. I just have also a quick encouragement for all of you. Well, it's about this quarantine period. Some have spent it really good. Some naglisod. Some okay lang. But in any cases, if we are rooted in the love of Christ, if we are rooted that God is sovereign and God is in control, and this will end soon in His perfect timing. I think walay maka hinder na to, to rejoice and give back all the glory and praises that God deserves. So what are you waiting for? Stand up, be ready with your friends, relatives, or wherever you are right now to give all the glory and honor that only God deserves. God said there's coming a day when I'm going to shake the world. But some things will not be shaken. Some things remain. In other words, there's coming a time when the world will be pressed and there'll be no way out. Those times come in your life, in your home. Tension, friction, financial trouble. You're pressed and there doesn't seem to be a way out. There is an answer, there is a way. Jesus said, I am the way. The way. The way. The way. What I thought I had to do 
was to push more. And what I had to do was to cut him straight loose. Just because you are already saved doesn't mean that you are already immune from the things from the past. It's a journey. A series of recognizing strings and cutting him loose. It's about progression, not perfection. Today, we're all in search for the truth, ready for a breakthrough just so we could break booze. But are you even ready for phase two and phase three of you? Because God is, He's just waiting for you to you.
And if our God is with us, then what we stand against? Thank you, Lord, for letting us know who you are in our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. And we continue to declare that you are our God and there's no one like you. You who made the heavens and the earth. You who turned water into wine. Who opened the eyes of the blind. There's nothing impossible in you, Lord. Our healer. Our provider. Our strong tower. Our everything, God, we lift your name on high. We exalt you. We glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, church, whatever sickness you have, brokenness you feel, listen to this song right now. This Thank you. 
Pastor Joe and Pastor Grace, maraming pong salamat na kayo po ang aming mga spiritual parents. Thank you po sa inyong pag-aalaga sa buong Words of Life family. Nawa po ay lalo kayong pagpalain ng Panginoon at ang buong pong ministeryo natin ay lalo pa pong lumawit sa biyaya ng Diyos. Pagpalain po kayo ng kalakasan at kalusugan and may the Lord continue to bless the whole Words of Life family. Kaya mula po sa aming sambahayan at sa inyong pong uh, pamilya dito sa Words of Life Batangas, ang bati po namin sa inyo ay... Happy 18th Anniversary of Words of Life! Words of Life, Binabay! Happy Anniversary Words of Life! Yay! On behalf of our pastor, pastora, Jessica Rio, Words of Life, Pinangonan, what can you say? Happy 18th Anniversary Words of Life! God bless po sa aming senior pastor at sa kanyang inner circle. Happy birthday, Words of Life, Maine! To Pastor Joseph and Sister Grace and all staff and members of Words of Life, Maine, Happy birthday anniversary. We pray that more blessings will come to you in Jesus' name. Once again, happy 18th anniversary, Words of Life, Maine! From Words of Life, Palampon. Yay! 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 Malipayo nga hapon na sa tanan nato nga makigsuunan nga nakauban nato karon ni ining uh, Sunday service. Salamat sa inyo nga panahon. Salamat sa inyo nga oras nga inyong gigahin usab alang sa to ang panimbahon sa usa ka pinasahi nga platform ang online service sa gihapon hangtod karon nagapadayon. But anyway, I believe nga dili limitado ang uh, Ginoo sa pagpanlihok sa tong kinabuhi. And I believe ganin kahapon the Holy Spirit can still touch your life. Kung hain ka man na himutang, kung naakaman sa imuhang sala, naakas imong kwarto, naakas imong sakyanan, 
welcomes ato ang service ni nga kahaponon. Thank you so much for joining us ato ang uh, service and I hope igso on you will really feel the very presence of God ni ini nga mga orasa and uh, andama ang imong kasing-kasing, andama ang imong huna-huna sa lang sa pag uh, bisag imong idulungog sa mensahe sa Ginoo ni ini nga kahaponon. Ayaw pa disturbo, inay mo katupad usa. Ayaw sa ako disturbuha. Praise God. Salamat sa praise and worship team usab nga nagalid ka nato o uh, mga alawiton uh, kaganina and I really pray nga uh, kung uh, hain ka man karon you really feel the very presence of God, the very touch of God he has imuhang kinabuhi. Thank you usab sa Words of Life main sa gihapon sa support nga ni ata ni ining uh, online service. Thank you so much and you hang uh, tabang og sa inyo hang uh, suporta. And uh, usab uh, doon ako i-greet diha si Sir Flores sa uh, 81 Savior. Ang ginuod sa babadayo nga magpanalangin sa mga nabuhi. Thank you for tuning uh, with us na ini nga service. And uh, sa tanan nga mga first timer nga nakakuyog ka na to, ini nga service, you are welcome. Welcome home. If this is your first time, my friend, pahibaw ami, iswat imo ang pangan, diha sa comment section. So that do nami information usab mahitong kaninyo and we love to pray usab diha kaninyo. Pipila ka mga announcement ang ato ang uh, ipasuput ni nga kahaponon sa gihapon. It is our uh, gratitude sa matag usa nga nahimong matinod aron for the tithes and offering alang sa gusto ug dunay tinguha sa pagpasuporta sa ministry through in financial terms. Please contact our storehouse ministry headed by Ms. Juvi Maghanoy. Salamat sa inyong suporta. Salamat sa inyong mga pag-ampo. Alang sa itong mga buluhaton, usab sa church, sa Words of Life, or Mok City. If this is your first time, my friend, dili ka obligado sa paghatag. But if you really uh, want to support the ministry, kalipay na mo usab ang pagdawat nini. Ang Diyos padayon nga magapanalangin diya sa inyong hang matag kinabuhi. Alright, so this is our uh, Sunday service. And I hope magapahimutang ka. And uh, dili lang ni Murag nagtanaw ka og salida. Kundi usa ka mensahe nga atong madawat nini nga kahaponon. If you have your Bibles with you, we will declare this all together once again, Sunday after Sunday. This would be our declaration all together. This is my Bible. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. This is His Holy Word in my life. His Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This is my sword which the Spirit gives me. This is the bread for my soul. My heart is receptive. My mind will comprehend. And my life is not like before. Every time I read and study my Bible in Jesus' name. Praise God. Nang hinaot ko yung soon nga naaka sa maayong panglawas na ining mga orasa. And receive the very touch of God, the very comfort, the very embrace of God in ini nga kahaponon. Now, we are still in our series, God's Purpose Prevails. Kumusta man ka sa ming labay nga duha ka simana? Pipila ba ka mga plano ni mo ang wagyo ni pa matuman? O kaha natuman man, pero not to 100%. But I hope and I pray nga sa ming labay nga mga simana o domingo, Uh, do na kay na dawat nga buhi nga mensahe gikan sa Dios alang sa imong kinabuhi. It's not yet the end of the world my friend. Do na pay taas-taas nga panahon. I believe in that. Uh, o gani ana nga panahon o ni ini nga umaabot pa nga mga adlaw ang Dios aduna pay dako nga buhaton diha sa imong kinabuhi. Those plans were good. But do na pa'y mas labing maayong ang iandam usab ang ginoo diha kanimo. Sa tanan nga mga plano nga natuman, praise God. Uh, ang Diyos sa uh, daigon hangtod sa kahangturan. So, God's purpose prevails. Ang katuyuan sa Diyos, maugayoy adunay katumanan diha sa ato ang kinabuhi. Muna ang atong tinguhaon kanunay sa adlaw-adlaw. Nga Lord, doon na may mga plano apan o Diyos ang imuhang kabubuton, ang imuhang katuyuan maoy masubay, maoy matuman dinhi sa akong kinabuhi. Amen? Our key verse this afternoon, dilita maglangan, in Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 to 13. Atuntunan ka ron ang uh, kinabuhi ni Paul nga to sa church sa Philippi or the Philippians church. In verse 12, the Bible says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, 
not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. Tagaan na itong title, ang atong mensahe ni Ning Kahaponon, God works in, we work out. Kung kung sabot ipasabot ni Ana, ato na masabdan sa itong pagpadayo ni Ning Kahaponon. Let us pray. Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and through the power of the Holy Spirit working in us, Salamat ginoo ni ini nga kahapuno na usab ni mong gihatag ka namo. Salamat nga ikaw ang Dios nga padayon nga magtudlo sa matag usa nga dinis among kinabuhi ginoo ang imong pulong adunay dakong lugar nga magapanlihok ka namo, maglig-on ka namo, magahupay ka namo ug magasangkap ka namo ginoong Dios. Salamat ni ini nga panahon, salamat ni ini nga kagawasan ni mong gihatag ka namo nga Lord Aduna mi uh, revelation, aduna mi minsahi nga madawat gikan kanimo. Ginoo, salamat nga ikaw padayon nga mag uh, equip ka namo. Speak unto us, minister unto us Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this very place and Lord teach us, uh, use us and comfort us through your word. Salamat Ginoo sa imong mga pulong uh, maugayoy mo lanog sa among taliwala og Lord daga imi og focus na ini nga kahaponon salamat Ginoo nga ang tanang tinguha sa mong kasing-kasing karon ikaw magatagbo usab nga magahatag kini og kadungganan og himaya diha sa imong buhi nga ngalan salamat kaayo Ginoong Dios dalay gun ka sa walay katapusan balikan ka namo sa labing taas nga pagdaig among itugyan ang tanan diha kanimo sa pangalan ni Kristo Hesus Amen and Amen. Dalay ko na itong buhi nga Diyos. God works in, we work out. Na kini nga minsahe, very intentional ni nga kung nga minsahe, gikan sa kung kasing-kasing gayod, nga ito sa congregation, sa Words of Life, or Mok City. And uh, sa tanan nga wa pa mag-resume uh, sila nga Sunday service, nga nakauban ka na ako din hiya, kung hain ka bahin sa kalibutan o sa nasod sa Pilipinas, Pananglit, ang inyohang church, wala pa usab magsugod, wala pa mo magbalik diha sa inyohang regular Sunday service. This message is for you. Ug sa tanan, nga magapaminaw ni ini, uh, prepare your heart because I believe dun ay giandam nga maayo ang Diyos sa matag usa. So, tulo ka buta, nga ato ang nga masabta ni ini nga kahapunon, God works in, we work out, achieve the purpose. Use the power, believe the promise. Nining tulo, din hita magsunt magatuyok tuyok, and I pray nga aduna kay makuha nining nga kahaponon. Amen. Now dili na to kalimtan that the church gimugna sa gino, instituted by God. Siya mismo ang founder ni ini, alright? Siya ang builder because I will build upon this rock. I will build my church. Now. Giluwas ta sa Dios kay aduna siya katuyuan. Are you with me? Giluwas ka sa Dios dili lang aron nga muiskapo ka sa impierno. Sometimes maora ang atong nahunahunaan nga rason eh. No, nga nang giluwas sa Ginoo para dili ko maimpierno. That is so uh, too shallow nga reason sa sa pagluwas sa Ginoo diha kanimo. Are you with me? Now, kay tungod kung maolang na ang rason sa Dios pag human ni mo kaluwas, gipatay dayon kaniya or You, you, you get what I mean? Apan tungod kay niya pa ka, naginahawa pa ka, nagkinabuhi pa ka, giluwas ka sa Diyos, aduna na kay katuyuan. Are you with me? So, usa sa katuyuan nga gihatag sa Ginoo from the very beginning, iyahaning gipadayag ka na to, through Paul and to the Church of Ephesians, that God's purpose in all this was to use the church to display His wisdom. The church is for God's agenda. Usahay ang ato ang agenda ang matuman diha sa church. Do not idagha mga plano para sa church nga para rapod sa atong kaugalingong interest. The church is for God's use only. Are you with me? And he, he says that the God's purpose in all this was to use the church to display his wisdom sa bisan unsa nga pamaagi dinhi ni ining sa yuta 
dinhi sa unsa bisag unsa nga mga authority in the heavenly places and seen rulers and in fact this is his eternal plan so kan pak sa sinugdan before the foundation of the world god purposely established the church to display his wisdom not to display the vision the mission of the church though it was good not to display sa dagway ni pastor o sa mga leaders though it's uh, not that uh, uh, that's not my point but it is to display the wisdom of god this that's why in season or out of season my friend we need to be ready we must be ready now in our key verse the book of philippians when paul wrote that epistle to the church of philippi he was self-quarantined he was self-quarantined where not in hotel not in any resort not in any cruise ship but he was self-quarantined in prison Nabilango si Paul, na priso si Paul, not because of COVID-19, but because of the gospel. Tungod kay si Paul, aduna siya ay uh, na naghimo siyang matinudaanon sa iyaha nga ginburuhatun, ingon nga apostle, ingon nga alagad sa Diyos, and this time he was in prison. Upat kalibro ang nasuwat ni Paul when he was in prison. Philippians, I think there's also the uh, the Colossians and the uh, the first and second Timothy and Titus at uh, lima. And here is the thing: he was in prison. He was self quarantined. Pero wa mahimong babag ni Paul ang iyahang circumstancia to even to minister to the church of Philippi. In other words, he was away physically from the Philippians. Are you with me? Og bisan pa man ni Ana ang sitwasyon, again, wa kini mahimong babag ni Paul to minister the church of Philippi or the Philippians. Now, but notice the attitude of Paul here. It says in in chapter 1. Now, I want you to know it's the whole congregation of the church of Philippi, brothers and sisters, that what was happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. Nakatabang ang iyahang sitwasyon, ang iyahang pagkabilanggo, nakatabang sa pagpakaila pa sa maayong nga balita. And as a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. Nahimo siyang binilanggo, nalaliyo siya, gikan sa church, gikan sa mga tao, na isolate siya, it is for Christ. His situation did not stop him to advance the gospel. Neither I, though I am here in Metro Manila, self quarantined na quarantined but it did not stop me to advance the gospel god gave us these resources nga maka istorya ta gihapon ta mo nga maka makadungog sa gihapon mo sa tingog ug sa unsa nga pamaagi nga naa available atong gigamit just aron nga ikaw ug ako magkauban ni ini nga kahaponon but how about you how about you because advancing the gospel, ang pagpakailap sa maayong balita, dili lang trabaho ni pastor, dili lang trabaho sa mga leaders, kundi ikaw usab, ni ini nga kahaponon, kumusta man ka. The situation of Paul caused to manifest more of his pastor's heart. Gani, mingingon siya, in verse 7, it is right for me to feel this way about all of you. Since I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you. In other translation, it says that I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ, with the affection of Jesus Christ, whose great love fills me. And I feel the same. 
to my church, to the congregation in our know, Words of Life or Mok City. How I really long nga matapos na ni or maybe siguro makauli ko diha and to meet you face to face. But for Paul, makita ni mo ang kasing-kasing ni Paul ingon nga usab ka pastor, ingon usab ka apostle to the church of Philippi. I do na siya concern. My friend, there in Words of Life or Mok City, you're always in my mind. You're always in my heart. And I'm praying for you. I'm praying the church. I'm praying our leaders. I'm praying those newcomers nga before nag-lockdown, nakasugod na unta. But I'm still praying for you. That is our, that's my heart. They has a church sa Ormo. So it seems like the pastor is out. But remember, God is in. Now what you are doing right now when your pastor is out, Unsa may imong gibuhaton for some of us sad to say awa pa man si pastor ah inig uli na lang siguro ni pastor but again this is the message for you so listen carefully but this is our confidence because though pastor is out God is in though Paul was out he was in prison but the very presence of God was also present in the church of Philippi to the Philippians and wherever you are right now the very presence of God is for you, is with you right now. The purpose for you, sa gihapon, nagapabilin, nagapabilin, dibuhi alang kanimo. So, your purpose that does, that does not depend, kang pastor, are you with me? God placed that purpose, di has a mga kinima, and that's why you have to achieve that purpose. As a congregation, dun ay katuyuan ng Diyos, alang sa matagos sa kanato. In fact, sa tanang mga panghitabo na ito karoon, adunay katuyuan ang Diyos. Wapa ta kabalik diha sa itong fellowship center, especially kawa na ito fellowship center. And so some of you here right now, maybe wapa mo kabalik sa inyo ang fellowship center, but adunay katuyuan ang Diyos nga nung nahitabo ni alang ka na ito o alang ka ni mo. Now, not just for the church, dili lang sa usa ka congregation, kung dili usab individually. Adunay purpose, adunay katuyuan ang Diyos diha ka na ito. In any situation, my COVID-19 man or why COVID-19 do not kabutuyuan ang Dios sa atong kinabuhi ug buhi ang mao nga katuyuan diha kanimo og dinhi kanato. Are you with me? Why pandemic nga makapakdang ni ini? Why pandemic nga makaputol ni ini? Why pandemic nga makababag ni ini? Are you with me? God is so intentional ni ini nga purpose diha sa ato ang kinabuhi and we must work for it. That's why he says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more. Not only in my presence, right now change your mindset, my friend. Tungod kay sad to say, doon ay uban nga obedient lang kung na ang presensya ni pastor. Buutan lang kaayo kung na ang presensya ni pastor. Aktibo kaayo kung na ang presensya ni pastor. But my friend, Paul says, even in my absence, uh, not much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Now, to work out your salvation does not suggest to work for your salvation. It's a different thing. Managlahi na. Tungod kay ang atong kaluwasan na aog nagagikan lamang kang Kristo Jesus by grace through faith kita naluwas. To work out our salvation, it simply means to show the results of your salvation. Obeying God with deep reverence and fear. Continue to make this new life fully manifest Di hakanimo, ah, di sa imo ang kinabuhi in the holy awe of God. Cultivate it, bring it to full effect. Actively pa pursue spiritual maturity. Nagatinguha ka dunak kay pagtrabaho, dunak kay pagpaningkamot sa pagkita sa resulta sa imo ang kaluwasan. Are you with me? For Paul, encouragement to Paul ngato sa church sa Philippi. Ingon ani, kung unsa ka kapan masinuntanon sa diha ko, labaw na karon sa wa ko. Are you with me? Sometimes balik tad, balik tad ang ato. Ah, wala pa betaw si pastor karon. Magingon ani lang unsa ta, di lang sa ta magpadayon, di lang sa ta palabay lang unsa nato ne. Na pa ba mo diha? 
Pero, yan, yeah, dila sa tamang gawas, pero manarbaho man. Are you with me? So, you know, you know the purpose of the church again. I remind you again. We are called by the Lord. Doon ay katuyuan ang Diyos atong kinabuhi. So, we need to cultivate as a whole church alang sa espirituhanong paglingon. Tungod kay naluwasta, tungod kay giluwasta, don't stop there. We have to exercise. We have to work out hours of God is working inside of us. Nanarbaho ang Diyos sa sulod sa atong kinabuhi. Giluwasta sa Diyos. Gikan sa yanang sa kasalanan. Ano ang maong kaluwasan adunay resulta mubunga ug makita. And we need to work out for our salvation. Again, to work out our salvation does not suggest work for your salvation. Nga naman, tungon kay kamatuura ni ini, gisuwat ni ni Paul dili sa mga unbelievers. Kung dili, gisuwat ni ni Paul sa mga believers to the holy people of God, God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, in the, li the living saints in Philippi. And this message also to the church. Wherever you are right now, specifically to the Church of Words of Life, Ormok City, this message is for you right now. The leaders, to the members, to the workers, alang sa matag Now, religious people are working for their salvation. But sad to say, there are believers, listen carefully, they involve in the ministry, they volunteer, they work, but their mindset, their mindset is parang religious people. I mean, ang uban, ang ilahang pag-apil, ang ilahang pag-join, luyo sa ilang huna-huna nga may na lang ni, makadugang ni sa akong kaluwasan. Stop it! Tungod kay, ang atong stand, ang atong ground, Nga nung nang lihok ta, nga nung nanarbaho ta, nga nung involved as a ministry, why we pray, why we, we lead care groups, it's because of our salvation nga naata. Are you with me? Why we volunteer? Because we understand the grace of God working in us. Why we repent? Because Why we change our lifestyle? Because we understand the grace of God working in us. We understand the mercy of God. Ang kaluoy sa Diyos din is atong kinabuhi. That God saved us in spite sa atong kahugawan, in spite sa atong kasalanan. Did you get my point? We work, we do in the ministry not to dili magpapansin kay Lord. Napabamudi ha? Kung dili to kay napansin ta ni Lord, nadawa ta ni Lord, gipasaylo ta sa ginoo, then we work. Are you with me? So, ingon ani ang pagdasig. Ingon ani ang pagdasig ni Paul nga to sa church sa Philippi. If you're doing these things, my friend, because you want to attain more of salvation, that is religion. That is religion. To work, it says, continue to work out from the word uh, to do that from which something results work to full completion. To your salvation with fear and trembling. In other words, well, maayo man na doon mga tao ng umuampo na to. Maayo man nga magpa-prayer request ta. Maayo nga madunggan na to na doon mga intercessors nga nag-ampo. Thank you so much sa kinabuhi sa ato mga intercessors. But work out your salvation, it means you need to learn to pray by yourself. Amen? Salamat kung naa si ate, naa si kuya, nga muampo nato, na tay care group leaders, nga muampo nato. But learn to pray. Salamat kung every Sunday, dunay mu feed nato o word, mensahe, pulong sa ginoo. Dunay mga care group leaders o sab nato, nga mutabang sa ato, ah, kung saan pagpakli ang Biblia. But also, you need to learn how to read your Bible. How to study your Bible. Are you work out your salvation. Work out your salvation. Kini bitong batang gamay kang kamauna mukaon o palingkuro na nato, kauban nato diha sa lamisa. 
sa una hungit hungitan lang na that's baby hungit hungitan lang na pero sa dihang nakita niya nga makauban niya naggunit og kutsara tinidor mangilog pud na ngano man kay gusto siya nga siya pud buhongit siyang kaugalingon and i hope nga kana nga prinsipyo kana nga principle ma-apply usab na sa atong matag usa ka kinabuhi are you with me we need again to work out our salvation paning kamot usab nga makabarug ka sa imong kaugalingon nga tiil diha sa pagpangalagad sa Ginoo. We understand that God causes all things to work together for good, for our good, to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Now, for those don't stop there. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to become conformed to the image of his son. This is the very desire of God alang nim og alang nako. Dili lang aron ka nga mahamtong ka diha sa iglesia, nga ikaw ang labing tiguang diha sa church, ikaw ang labing dugay na diha sa church, nga wala ra gapoy kabaguhan ang kinabuhi. That's not the goal of God for us. The goal of God for you and for me is to conform to the image of his son nga mahisama ta kang Kristo Jesus. That's the very heart's desire alang sa atong kinabuhi because again, if we are in Christ, my friend, we are his masterpiece. The perfect plan of God that you are the masterpiece. Ikaw ang labing maayog, labing nindot. You are the masterwork of God. And His desire, alang sa ato ang kinabing nga mahimutang sama, ang conform to the very image of Christ. Dili lang nga mahimok ang super Christian. Dili lang mahimok mag-involve ra ka diha sa ministry but through this gitrabaho ni sa Ginoo work together alang ikaw ma ma matuman ang maon maayo perpekto nga plano sa Dios diha sa imong kinabuhi. Whatever ministry nga naa ka tuguti nga kini gamito ni sa Dios diha kanimo to conform to the image of His Son. Dili lang aron nga magmalampuson ka sa imong karir, dili lang nga magmalampuson ka sa imong kaminyoon, sa imong pamilya, sa imong negosyo. Magmalampuson ang tuon ka, pero ang imong kinabuhi is not conforming to the image of His Son, of Jesus Christ. What for? Did you get my point? So that's why, it's a great reminder, alas matago sa kanato, nini kahaponon, na ang atong purpose as the church to conform to the very image of His Son. Not conforming to the pattern of this world, but conforming to the image of His Son. We are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. Sa dihang naluwas ta, sa dihang nakaangkun ta sa kaluwasan, pinaagi sa grasya o sa atong pagtuo. So we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Do na plano ang Diyos wapak ka matao. Aduna na giplano ang Dios gilatan nga plano ang Dios alang kanimo we can do we can do the good things Na ko mangutana ka kana ko unsa ka high good things nang giandam sa Ginoo sa akong kinabuhi no that's a good question Pero dili ako ang ang insakto nga tawo ang imong pangatan on ini but ask the Holy Spirit who is in you as the Holy Spirit kung unsa ni nga trabaho on nga giandam sa Dios alang kanimo aron nga ang katuyuan sa Ginoo adunay katumanan diha sa imuhang kinabuhi and i hope you understand that whether naa si pastor o wa si pastor sa inyong akiliran ask the Holy Spirit pray to the Holy Spirit Lord what is your purpose in my life what is this good thing Nga imong giplano sa akong kinabuhi nga sa wa pa kumataw. Sa wa pa mamugna ang kalibutan. Unsay imong plano sa akong kinabuhi? Ingon ani lang ba maglulingkod lang hangtod mapupus ang adlaw, hangtod mapupus ang akong tuig. Ang akong mga katuigan. Ask the Lord. Because he says these are good things. These are good things and we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. As for Paul, he says, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. Ang tinguha ni Paul, gani, ingon pa siya in Philippians chapter 3, kung ingon pa dahil, ang tanan nga akong nakabot, 
These are all garbage. Basura. To attain the full knowledge of Christ sa ako ang kinabuhi. So, dili niya ikauwaw ang iyahang sitwasyon, wa niya ikauwaw ang iyahang pagkabilanggo tungod ni Kristo, buhi man siya upatay, it doesn't matter that Christ will be exalted in His body, that Christ will be exalted in His life, nga mapataas si Kristo diha sa iyahang kinabuhi. Now, this is a very sweet reminder for you, for me, my friend. Kinsa may napataas imong kinabuhi karon. Are you with me? Kinsa o unsa o si kinsa ang napataas dihas imuhang kinabuhi karon. As for Paul, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Duha ka sitwasyon. He was in, in, in a dilemma. Ingon siya, ang akong pagkinabuhi mo si Kristo sa usa ka dakong negosyo, usa ka dakong ginansya kung ako mamatay, kung mo taliwan, mo biya, ni ining kinabuhi, ni ining physical body. Apan ang taglibog, pag-usab siya, kay ang church sa Philipp, Philippi, sa maayo sab kung kauban ko ninyo. Apan mas maayo sab kung ako mo pauli na nga ni Kristo. So, Wa siya makasabot kung unsay iyahang ang ayang nga buhaton. Now, this, this desire. Ang iyahang desire is the thing. Listen carefully. Na, kung makauban siya diha sa church, well, great labor. Padayon ang iyang pagdasig. Padayon ang iyang ministry. Padayon ang iyahang, uh, padayon ang iyahang kakugi. Ang iyang kahago na to sa church. Ang iyang pag-cultivate sa church. Ang iyahang mga pagmaymay. Ang iyahang mga pagpahimangnong na to sa church. Siya, pero kung ako po mo uli na, well, that would be fine as well. Gani yun siya, which is better by far. Mas maayos am. But in any event, ang iyahang tinguha usab sa matag usa sa church, and this is also my desire for you, the ining kahapunon, that we will progress and we have the joy in our faith. Can you imagine that? Nga even Paul at who was in prison changed and not dilit niya comfortable nga lugar, not his comfort zone. Apan sa gihapon siya nagadasig ug nagatinguha siya ug kalipay ngadto sa church. In fact, in Philippians 4.4, 4, she rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice from a person who was in prison. A person who was quarantined. Not his comfort zone. But that ang yahang panambagon nga to sa church. Paglipay ka mo. Paglipay ka mo diha sa gino. In other words, his joy, ang kalipay ni Paul, wa magdipindi sa iyahang sitwasyon. But ang iyahang kalipay nagadipindi diha kang Kristo Jesus. I don't know about you ni ini nga kahapunon. Sa unsa ba o sa kins, kang kinsa ba nakadipindi ang imuhang kalipay? But as for Paul, iyahang tinguha nga to sa church. Makauban man kuninyo o dilit na kuninyo makauban apan paglambo ka mo. For your progress and joy in the faith. Ladies and gentlemen, ayo pagpabilin as baby Christian. Pwede baby ang mong panganya, Christian ka. Pero as baby Christian, come on, work out your salvation. We have, you must work out your salvation. How about training is not more available? Niini nga panahuna. Tugutan ba ni mo nga magpabili na lang ka nga baby Christian? Kay why nag-feed ni mo? Why nag-train ni mo? Why naga nagatawag kaha ni mo? But we need you and I, you and I must work out our salvation. In our service to the Lord, as we work out our salvation, do everything without grumbling or arguing. Ayaw pagpapagutbot nga naman kayo, mauman ni ang kinabuhi sa kalibutan. Mauman ni ang ilahang, mauman ni ang ilahang identity. But we, as a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, sa tanang buluhaton nga naata, 
why pagbagulbol o panaglalis? So that you became blameless, why ikasaway, and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. My friend, you become blessing to others. You do not belong to their culture. That's why this is my reminder. Alang sa matag-usa, nining nga kahaponon, you are the light of the world, the Bible says. Ikaw ang kahayag, nining kalibutana. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. Why suga? Why flashlight? Why lamparilya nga ibutang ni Mus Ilams mong katre? Ipatigbabaw gina, ipabaw-babaw gina, aron makitaan, og maghatag, og magdanag, og kahayag. O ka pahinumdum sa ginoo sa matag sa kanato, pinagsimpulo nga ikaw mao ang kahayag. Busa pasigaang yung mong kahayag before men. Before men, especially to the unbelievers. Especially this imong pamilya nga wala pa diya sa ginoo. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Then you will shine among them like stars in the skies as you hold firmly Imong kuptan ang kinabu ang, ang pulong sa kinabuhi ug imo sab nga ikahatag ngadto sa uban and then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor in vain. Now it would be easier for us to share the gospel the words of life kung nahimong panalangin ang imuhang kinabuhi. Are you with me? Atong likayan ang word nga samtang mo share ta sa pulong sa Ginoo nya madunggan nato sa Paluma. Ato ng likayan. Alright? Work out your salvation. It is possible to work out our salvation tungon kay dunay available nga power alang sa church. Kung wa pa ka ni ini, receive it. Kung naa na ka ni ini, use it. So I would say, receive or use the power. The church has available power power. The Bible says, for it is God who works in you. In other words, it's not our strength. Dili sa kaugalingo na itong pagpaningkamot, dili sa kaugalingo na itong uh, mga kahago, kung dili uh, ang Diyos nagalihok effectively at work in you. Each and every one of you. God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill aron nga matuman ang iyahang maayo nga katuyuan diha kanimo diha as a church as a congregation ug diha usab sa imuhang kinabuhi it is god who works in you god work in us god must work in us before he can work through us you will you are uh, to will and to act. Ang Dios may nagahatag og tinguha og katakos. God is working to us. He is strengthening us, is energizing us, is creating in you the longing and the ability to fulfill sa katuyuan the purpose of God in your in our lives. Example for David's life sa diha ang nga gireveal sa Ginoo nga to ni David ang piyahang katuyuan the purpose of God for David is to become the king of Israel and the bible says so as David stood there among his brothers Samuel took the flask of olive oil he had brought and anointed David with the oil and the spirit of God or the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David from that day on. So, kada itong adlawa, he was so young as a shepherd. Wapadayo wapa yung siya kingdom, wapadayo yung siya corona, wapadayo yung siya mga army, wapadayo yung siya trono that time. Giprepar siya sa Diyos. And now, so, kada itong adlawa, he worked out he worked out that very purpose na gihatag sa ginoong at kaniya. He, he was so faithful sa iyahang pagbantay, sa iyahang mga karnero. Nahimo siyang, iya, nahimo siyang hero sa Israel, sa dihang iyahang napilde si Goliath. He served the king. He worked out until such time that when the time was really ready, eh, og nahimong hinugna, he became the king of Israel. 
It is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, the word works here, diha na to gikuha ang English word, English translation, ng word energy. Ang Diyos nagahatag og kusog, inirhiya diha kanimo. This is not just about imitating Christ, though we are commanded to imitate Christ. This is not just about imitating Christ. This is about incarnation, the incarnation of Christ in us. What do I mean when Paul says, it's no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. I love that. Sa imong kinabuhi karon when you become a believer of Jesus Christ, dili ra, wala ra ka maginusara sa imong kinabuhi. Tap that power inside of you. Because as Paul says, it's the same testimony, alas matag-usa ka naton, ini kahaponon, it's no longer us who lives. Dili na kita ang nagkinabuhi, ni ini kinabuhi, kundi si Kristo nga nagkinabuhi. It's Christ who lives in me. Christ resides in us. Are you with me? In other words, when we come to think of it, saan man pagkatuman na ako ang purpose sa ginoo nga ingon ani raman ko, yano raman ko mga tao, ya busy pag yun ko. Again, it's not about your strength. It's not just about your your uh, initiative or unsa pang naa ka, but it's about the energy, that power that is in you. It is Christ who lives in us. So, tungod ni Ana, whatever happens, as for Paul's case, makabisita man ko ninyo, o di na, makitaan tamo, o di na, in my case, makauli sa kong ormok, o di pa ko makauli sa ormok, whatever happens, listen carefully, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. And whether I come and see you or only hear about in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. That's why in chapter 2, he continues exhorting the church of Philippi. Ingo siya, ayaw la ang imong kaugalingon mo'y huna-hunaa. Huna-hunaa sa pang interest sa uban. Ayaw paggara-gara. Consider others, not just to think about yourself. And as one congregation, pag huna-huna ay mo sa usag-usa. Kumusta ka ha si Kuan? Kumusta ka si Brad? Kumusta ka si Sister? And make a call or text. Huna-huna ang matag-usa. This was not only addressed to the pastor of a local church, but to every believer. Sa ayaw, ay ayaw pag huna-huna lang sa imong kaugalingon nga interest. Be like Christ. Ang imuhang mindset parehas ni Kristo. Unsa may gihimo ni Kristo? Unsa man si Kristo? Mingingon siya padayon diha nga gani siya Dios apan wa siya wa niya gitupong ayang kaugalingon sa pagka-Dios. Gihukas niya ang iyahang pagka-Dios. Are you with me? So in other words, whatever your position in your church, ah, ako go ang leader. Di ko mangusta oy. Ah, in any good go, di ba? But no, don't think any position nga naa ka. Because even Christ, wala niya huna-huna ana, nga Diyos gani siya, gihukas niya ang iyahang pagka-Diyos. Are you with me? Og iyang gisulob ang pagka-sulugoon as a servant, og nahimo siyang masinugtanon, bisan pa man sa kamatayon sa cross. Church, that would be our attitude, whatever happens. Dr. Warren W. Worsby commented, It is sad to see the way some ministries in the church weaken or fall apart because of a ch change in leadership, or maybe in the absence of leadership, I would say. We have a tendency to please men and to obey God only when others are watching. But when you surrender to the power of God within you, then obedience becomes a delight and not a battle. Are you with me? It is our delight atong kalipay kung ang gahum sa Diyos na aka nato o sa kakalipay nato ang pagkamasinugtanon diha kaniya. In this ministry, in an everyday life, 
we are not alone. Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. He is with us. He is working in us. As he says, I will ask the Father and he will give you the, another advocate of the same kind, helper, comforter, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, who will never leave you, who will be with you forever. He is the Holy Spirit who leads you in all truth. The world cannot receive him because it's not looking for him and does recognize him, but you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Don't think about orphan spirit because Jesus says, I will never abandon you. I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. The Holy Spirit resides in you right now. Use that power. Are you with me? You will receive the power, Jesus says. And I hope and I pray for those who are believers of Christ, you have that power in you. So how to use that power? At least there are three tools. Very quickly, number one, the Word of God. Ampulong siya just take time to the Word of God because the Word of God is God's breath, inspired by God, ginin hawa sa Dios nga naghatag og kinabuhi alang kanimo ug alang kanako. Nga masangkapan ta, magamit ta, thoroughly equipped alang sa katuyuan sa Dios ang ayang buhato nato sa katumanan sa katuyuan sa Dios sa atong kinabuhi. The Bible says we also thank God constantly for this that when you receive the word of God which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you, believers. The word of God will only work for those believers. So, if you would think, ano wa man maglihok ang pulong sa ginoon sa akong kinabuhin, napangutan na sa imong kaugalingon, are you a believer? Because the Bible says, the word of God is at work in you, believers. For nothing is impossible with God. Why? For no word from God will ever fail. That's how NIV translated that. Why pulong sa Diyos nga musailong kawang? Apan adunay katumbanan diha sa atong kinabi. So bulahan ang tao nga mutuo sa mao nga katuyuan o katumanan sa gisulti sa Diyos diha sa iyang kinabuhi. Number two, prayer. Praise God. Thank you for those who are joining our one-week prayer and fasting. You can keep. You can continue on with our fa- with your fasting. Make it a habit for you. But the prayer, also prayer. Gani ang mga apostolis? They come together. This is their agenda. Prayer. They were constantly praying with the same purpose. The leaders of the church must initiate constant prayer, and that's why I have said intentionally we had our prayer and fasting. Gani palang dugay yun na human kagahapon palang da human. And praise God for that. Salamat sa ginoo. And believe that God is listening to your prayers. But don't stop. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Our confidence in prayer, my friend, that God's power working in us, the Holy Spirit working in us, and He can do much more, more than anything we can ask or think. The Holy Spirit is closely related to the practice of prayer in our lives. Though I understand, doon ay panahon nga luya, doon ay panahon nga murag lor, murag kakapoy ba? Uh, yes, as human as we are, batiyon nato na. But praise God again, because likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, in our weakness. For there are times that we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes. He knows your very need right now, and at the right time, He intercedes. He prayed in behalf, alang nimo. He's pleading to the Father for you. So keep on praying. Amen. Keep on praying. Though there are times nga, Lord, sa naman ni, parang, uh, Wa man ako makita ang resulta sa ako mga pag-ampo. Oh, we'll just keep on praying. As we are, yes, I know we are concerned of other things, my friend. Other things in life. Um, do na tayo mga lain po ng gibuluhaton. But like the apostles, 
is they, they have time, they give attention to the word, to the ministry of the word, to the prayer and the ministry of the word. Ayaw tuguti nga mabisi lang ka sa bisan unsang ang gibuluhaton ni ining kalibutan na. Especially unya kung unsa pa may muabot pa nga mga panghitabo after this. Ang uba nga mga busy, uba mga ginikanan, mabisi na siguro sa pag-abli sa klase, pag mag, mag, uh, uh, pagtudlo sa ilang mga anak, but don't neglect the time of prayer and the ministry of the Word. Lastly, of these tools, the suffering, but not all suffering, our suffering in Christ. Peter says, my friends, don't be surprised at the painful things that you are now suffering, which are testing your faith. If you are suffering right, if you, if, if you're suffering right now because of Christ, so this is a testing of our faith. Don't think that something strange is happening to you, but you should be happy that you are sharing in Christ's sufferings. You will be happy and full of joy when Christ shows His glory. When people say bad things to you because you follow Christ, consider it blessing, a blessing. Ayaw baos. Ikaw, labo pa po ka. Diba? So, diba, matintal ta. Pero when people are uh, telling us, nagsulti siya sa atuang, o dili, maayong nga mga pagsulti, oh, Pasalamati ang Diyos. Lord, thank you, Lord. Ikaw, Christian, Christian ka. Okay, Lord, thank you. Ikaw, Moni. Lord, thank you. It's a blessing. Are you with me? Wala kay panahon. Sige lang, kagampu-ampu niya. Especially kung ikaw, it's a great challenge indeed. Kung ikaw pa lang ang usa, nag-inusara sa inyong panimay, na ikaw pa lang ang Christian, ikaw pa lang ang believer, it's really quite challenging. But my friend, the Bible says, consider it a blessing to you. But if you suffer because you are a Christ follower, don't be ashamed. Doon yung mga tao, may ingon nga, unsa mo na nang nag Sukad lang na siya, hingbalhin o glaing relihiyon. Di ba? Mga muna ka sa ganito madunggan. Sukad lang na, may balig rin. Imuna na yung kinabuhi. But it says, oh, don't be ashamed. You should praise God for that name. So if God wants you to suffer because of His will, you should trust your lives to Him. He's the one who made you. He's your creator, your faithful creator, and you can trust Him. So continue to do good. Ladies and gentlemen, being confident of this, that He, God, who began a good work in you, will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And no COVID-19 can stop it. From the very beginning up to the day of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will continue working in you and making sure nga makumplito na, making sure nga mahamtong ka hantul sa pagbalik ni Kristo Jesus. And Paul was so convinced on this because he himself, bisan tuod, o nakidinahan siya, gibilanggo siya, apan siya nagapadayon, o mo'y ang pagdasig ngadto sa mga church sa Philippi. Ang ayang pagkabilanggo, wa mahimong babag alang kaniya. The church of Philippi will continue to fulfill that the very purpose of God in their lives. Last point that I would like to share to you, believe the promise. And what is this promise? It's the joy, our joy in Christ. Whether at present times or when the moment we will stand before the very throne of Jesus, we have that joy. Look at this. And then I will be able to boast. That the word boast there, I will rejoice. I will be proud. I have the reason to rejoice on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor in vain, nga ang akong kahago wa magsailong kawang. Ang akong kahago, ang akong pagpaningkamot, working also my own salvation, at dunay dakong resulta. Ang gihimo ni Paul is the same thing. He's also working his own salvation as an apostle, as a minister of the word to the Gentiles. Amen. O ikaw usab ni ining akahaponon, my friend. So, siya, I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did run or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out like a drink offering, be santo dog, mamatay ko dinis kung bisa bilangguan. Kung maona ni akong katapusan sa akong kinabuhi. And service among coming from faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. 
Ladies and gentlemen, church, be responsive to your pastoral leaders. Listen to their counsel. They are alert to the condition of your lives and work under the strict supervision of God. Contribute to the joy of their leadership. Not a burden, but make it a joy for your leaders, even to your pastors. To your pastor. Kung usa lang ang imong pastor. Make it a joy to him or to her. Contribute to the joy of their leadership that it's drudgery, not a burden. Why would you want to make things harder for them? Tungod kay the moment nga mahimo burden na sa imo pastor dili na ikahat wa na ikahatag kaayuhan diha kanimo are you with me as the bible says so in other words have confidence in your leaders obey your spiritual leaders my friend so though this that the work will be a joy not a burden for that would be of no benefit to you as a father sa tanan niyang kahago all throughout the days, yang pagpanarbaho, bisa ng uban, siguro lagyo o gagitrabahoan, lay, nalayo sa, sa liyang pamilya, pero kalipay sa iyang mga anak, kalipay niya niya, na makita ang iyang anak na nagmalampuson. It's the same thing with us. It's the same thing for me as a, as a pastor. Nga, though, kung wala man ko'y chance nga makita ta mo personally apan madunggan nako that you are doing great and good things fulfilling the very purpose of God into your life takong kalipay na nako I love to listen late unya ang tawad pastor mo ni ang nahitabo karun din hiya in mas akong trabahuan it's a great joy for me nga madunggan or maybe makitaan sa messenger or asan na pita na kung pwede nga makitaan that you are still doing good and great things sa imuhang kinabuhi. And in the future, my friend, sa diha nga mubarog ta before the judgment seat of Christ, what a great joy unya sa ako ang kinabuhi nga madunggan gikan kang Kristo Jesus. Well done. Good and faithful servant. Bisan to dugwalang imong pastor, but well done, good and faithful servant. Bisag watod bagtanaw ang imong leader. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been so faithful over a little, I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Mo na akong panghinaot ini kahaponon. Nga sama ka ni Adtong Sudugoon, nga samtang ming panaw ang iyahang iyahang amo samtang siya ang nahabilin wa ang presensya siyang amo but he was so faithful doing everything nga iya nga gihimong gi in charge diha kaniya nga gisalig diha kaniya i hope dili kasama sa usa ka sulugoon sa dihang mimpanaw ang iyahang ang iyahang or milakaw ang iyahang amo nagtinapulan pod Okay? Na, doon ay mga pang-abuso nga gihimo niya. But I hope you are the one like servant who is faithful even in the absence of his master. I hope uh, ni ini nga kahaponon doon na kay pagdasig nga makuha niya sa pulong sa Diyos that my beloved brothers and sisters be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, in season or out of season. My center o walay center. My Sunday service nga physical, yun nga pag-istory, pag, pag-atubang, or wa man. But always excelling in the work of the Lord. May trabaho ka man o wa kay trabaho. Always excelling in the work of the Lord. In other words, always do your best. Doing more than is needed. Ex- excel. We need to excel in our service. That's why in our K-group, I always ask, what would be your suggestion to improve our new normal na service? And some don't think, why di huna huna ang uban? Ang uban nagsalig lang. But you can also think, excel in your care groups, excel. Kaya ang uban, maulagin gihapon, sukat pa itong March, maulagin gihapon. Come on, excel. Sa imuhang gibuhaton diha sa gino. Why? Tungon kayo, ato ang kahago diha kang Kristo. Even to the point of exhaustion. Grabe. Grabe. And for Paul, bisag o gigikabilanggo na niya, gigikapriso na niya. Ano man, 
tu kena sabda nang yang kahago paghago diha sa Ginoo dili mo silong kawang are you with me so akong personal nga pasalamat because right now we gave up our sunday uh, our, our fellowship center ormoc city i think that would be a practical way sa pagkakaron so salamat kaayo sa tanan nga naghago sa paghakot sa atong mga gamit they are in safe uh, nga lugar but thank you so much kali kaguol nako nga wa ko diha makauban ninyo pero kalipay nako nga nadunggan usab ang inyo mga kahago thank you thank you so much and uh, i hope and i believe nga dili ra mo ni nga kahago ang atong buhaton let's continue doing let's continue labor para sa Ginoo because ang atong kahago da sa Dios our labor in the Lord will never be in vain are you with me amen now in this series or in, in our service to the Lord observe two words there is the sacrifice but there also the word rejoice. But even if I'm being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service coming from our, our faith, your faith, sa mga sakripisyo na akong nahimo, siya, magmalipayon ako. Our service in Christ. What's our message? God works in, it's in us, then we work out. As we close this message this afternoon, I know as a church, do not daghang mga plano. Not daghang mga events. We made our planning last December and we have a lot of events supposedly for this year. But here it comes, there is a pandemic. And uba mga plano wa, even personal na ko mga plans kung kinabuhi, do na sab, pero kasagaran, wa pa yun ito. But the Lord is so good, He opened new doors of opportunity for me. We believe that we make plans. We can make many plans. But the Lord's purpose will prevail. So I really did expect na maabdan ta o COVID-19. Adini usab sa resulta sa akong pagka-quarantine. Adini not expect na mag-give up na to ang atua nga fellowship center. But my confidence, but I really expect as a church na ang katuyuan sa Diyos ang mas labaw na mahimo o matuman sa ato ang kinabuhi. I am so excited for the next level ng atong ato bangon. I am excited, inigulit na ako diha, ah, magkita na po ta, matkamo diha po, magkakita-kita na ita, or uban nga mga church na nagtanaw na ito karoon. I am so much excited, usab alang ninyo. Personally, I am so excited na i-level up na po ta sa ginoo. Dilita magpabilin lang diha na pita. But after this COVID-19, I believe i-level up na diha sa ginoo. So my personal plea alang kaninyo, especially, particularly, sa Church of Words of Life, Ormoc City, I urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, love your local church. Our brethren outside from Words of Life, Ormoc, maybe you are uh, sa unsang grupo, love your local church. Support your local church. Pray for your local church. Make follow-ups to your brothers and to your sisters. Sad to say, Ang uban wala na, hing, namiya na kay mo na ni, mo na ni ang mong kahimtang, inana, inana, na, ana, nangaluya ng uban, nangundang ng uban, very sad. But I hope this message right now, naghatog pa hinumdum diha kanimo. So, my personal prayer, my personal prayer sa dipatamubiya, sa hingpit, is this, the same prayer of Paul to the Church of Philippians, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruits of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. And he works in us. We must work out. Let us pray. My friend, if this is your first time joining us, I'm going to lead you to a prayer. God has a purpose in your life. You begin to have a relationship with Him. Magsugod ka sa imong relasyon diha sa Ginoo. Follow this prayer, Ginoong Hesus. Salamat sa imuhang gugmas ang kinabuhi. Salamat sa kamatayon nimo sa krus sa Kalbaryo. Pasaylo ako Ginoo. Salamat sa imong dugo nga magahugas kanako. Lord, ako mga pagampo nga sa akong kinabuhi karon, akong ipaubos ang akong kaugalingon, ablihan akong putang sa kasing-kasing. 
mosulod ikaw o ikaw akong ginoo ug manuluwas sa akong kinabuhi. Salamat kaayo ginoo sa imuhang uh, sa kabag-uhan sa akong kinabuhi og sa pagtuman sa imuhang kabubuton dinhi kanako ug usab sa ako ang pamilya. Gamita ako alang sa imong kahimayaan ug alang sa imong kadungganan. Kini ako mga pag-ampo sa pangalan ni Ginoong Hesus. Amen and amen. Ug sa nahabilin nga nato diha karon, let's pray together. Ginoo, salamat kaayo sa pagpahinumdum nimo kanamo that you are a living God working in us. Thank you Holy Spirit in our time today. Though physically nagkabuwag-buwag mi, but you are working sa matag usa kanamo. Help us to achieve your very purpose in our lives and as a church, as a one congregation. Lord, cause us to use the power Holy Spirit working is working in us and through us. That every day, Lord, salamat na available ang imong gahom dinhi kanamo. Pahinumdumi mi, tabangi mi sa pag uh, sa pag uh, uh, himo ginoo kung unsaon namo nga pagtuman kayo sa imong kabubuton dinhi kanamo. But we will participate, Lord. We will work out our salvation. It is possible because you are working in us. And help us to believe the promise that, Lord, in spite of our sacrifices and sufferings, there is joy. Nga abong masinatian ka ron, and even the greater joy nga nagapaabot ka namo, diha ka nimo. Father God, ikaw magapanalangin si Matagusa, ang pinga nimo Matagusa, salamat ginoo nga imo sab gamiton. Holy Spirit, use us uh, to testify Jesus to others. Bisan pa man ni ini nga pandemic nga among giatubang. I pray for our government. Salamat Ginoo sa ilang matag kinabuhi, ilang kakugis, ilang kahago. Lord, ikaw maghatag og kusog kanila uh, with our president Duterte og sa tanan nga mga uh, agency sa gobyerno. Salamat sa support Ginoo nimo gayud sa matag usa kanila even for our finances, Lord, sa among among nasod, ikaw o Dios magatagbo sa gikinhalan sa matag usa. And Lord, to everyone nga mga panguli usab ginoo silang tagsetag sa kaprobinsya let your protection be upon us in every local government unit especially in Ormoc City LGU bless our mayor father god ug sa mga silingan nga mga LGU ginoo lord ikaw magapanalangin thank you for the reinforcement from heaven lord nga mag uh, uh, magabantay sa matag usa sa matag isla sa matag rehiyon sa matag probinsya syudad matag lokalidad salamat kinoong dios nga lord kini nga pandemic usa ka uh, usa ka pagtugot nimo gi adres mo kinabuhi nga amo sa mga masabtan nga dunay dios nga labing gamhanan tag iya sa mo kinabuhi og uh, gamhanan sa tanan Ginoo, salamat that this would be a uh, wake up call alang sa matag usa sa mga mahigmata kami spiritually Father God, akong ikumitar ang matag-usa, matag-pamilya, matag-tatag, matag-nanay. Dininga kahaponon, dalaygon ka sa katapusan sa pangalan ni Ginoong Jesus. To God be all the glory. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Dagan salamat sa inyo nga pakikuban. Again, sa ito ang fellowship ni Ninga Kahaponon. If it's your first time again, write your name down in the comment section. Masabta na mo. Uh, if you have a prayer concern and prayer request, we want to know that. Og, uh, rest assured, Usab, that we are working for it as well. Salamat sa inyong panahon. Og, ang Diyos para mga panalangin sa inyong kinabuhi. Hantod sa sunod, Domingo, magkita-kita ta. Amping kanunay and be a blessing to others. Thank you so much. God bless you. Give honor to God. Let's stand up and as we give all the glory and honor to the Lord and sing this national to Him. Thank you.
mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone will shout, praise the Lord.